I want you to notice the ocean. Close your eyes. Imagine yourself on a raft floating out in the middle of the ocean. No, you're not stranded or lost. You're just here temporarily, getting accustomed to the gentle rocking motion of the waves. And soon you will be back to your normal life. But while you're here, I want you to notice something. A couple of things, actually. I want you to notice how the ocean has both good days and bad days. There are days where the surface of the water could look like a sheet of glass. And if anything was to take so much as a breath of air, it would shatter. There are days where the sky is reflected so perfectly that you have a hard time telling which picture looks more lifelike. You could honestly consider standing on top of the water. On these days, there is little sound other than the warm and gentle breeze humming past your ears. But there are also days that the waves toss and churn as if a thousand invisible and colossal boulders are being dropped into the sea from a giant above. The color of the sea looks like an angry mix of green and blue, and the sky looks no different. Storms rage on, some shared by people on land or in boats, but some are for the ocean and the ocean itself to deal with. Lightning strikes the water, electrifying what poor life happens to be by the surface at that very moment. And the thunder? The thunder booms. Deafening roars come from all areas in the sky as if they were coming straight from the lion's den. I want you to notice that the ocean lives on though, day after day after day, despite what kind of day it just had. Even if there are 365 bad days in a row, it lives on. It persists. Now I want you to notice how deep the ocean is. On average, the ocean is 2.3 miles deep. That's 3,701 meters, 12,144 feet, or 145,278 inches. Now that's pretty deep. The ocean floor is 99% unexplored. Think of how many secrets that it holds. Think of how many beautiful, unknown things are out there that we have absolutely zero idea that they even exist. The ocean hides both its pains and its joys within its deepest depths, only ever really revealing what appears on the surface. But I want you to notice how the ocean does not apologize for its depth. And the last thing that I want you to notice is yourself. I want you to notice that you have bad days and you have good days. Some days you seem to float along like a feather in the wind, dancing without a care in the world. Music will play in your head even if there is no music playing outside. You are a song, spreading your love while simultaneously feeling all the different types of love that the rest of the earth has to offer back to you. But some days you feel lonely. You sit in bed for hours at a time, only ever getting up to go to the bathroom and because your mom calls you down for dinner. You feel an emptiness that is so hollowing in the pit of your stomach that you think you might throw up. And there is no music playing inside of your head on these days. Just the soft and steady throbbing of your own thoughts. Yet you persist. Even if you have a whole year of bad day after bad day after bad day, you are still here. You live, and in time, more good days do come around. And you look back and think to yourself how you could have ever felt so isolated in a world full of such beautiful clutter. I want you to notice your depth, too. You put on a face on the surface, sometimes showing true emotion, other times trying to mask it. But you are so, so much more preciously complex than that face. Underneath that mask, you have hidden corners and secret nooks and secluded crannies, and each and every one of these hides a beautiful secret. Emotions, opinions, feelings, wants, needs, desires, and love. All of it is stowed away in your deepest depths. And just like the ocean, you too will not apologize for your depth, for that is what makes you, you. No one gets to tell you what to say, what to do, how to think, or what to feel. Your thoughts are your own, and so are your feelings. From your wildest thoughts to your loftiest dreams, you belong to you, just as the ocean belongs to the ocean.
So before you get off of this raft that you've been floating on for a little while now, I want you to notice one final thing. I want you to notice that you are a mysteriously powerful, endlessly vast, inexplicably deep, and utterly beautiful ocean.